What is up guys? So I've got another fragrance review and today we're talking about a fresh scent. Uh, one that I expected and some of you might expect to be a really boring simple scent. And actually it's one I, I knew about um, and I kind of overlooked from the house. <clears throat> uh, it's called Sephiro from the House of Flores which as you know is a really historic fragrance house from London. Um, I was drawn to Floris very early on. I started with number 89, the really famous uh, you know, Ian Fleming scent, James Bond scent, um, which is a really like powdery. Um, for some people, I think it could smell a little too old school, a little too like toiletry-like um, scent. And it's a classic cologne smell. And I went with that and one of my best rated uh, reviews, um, or sorry, one of the, the fragrances that I spoke, I've spoken really highly of is Flores 1962, which I really regret selling. It's a discontinued fragrance. Um, apparently smells like Italian Cypress from Tom Ford, which I haven't tried, but it's a phenomenal scent. Um, I wish I had it still. It's still, you know, to this day, one of my uh, all-time favorite scents. Then there's, you know, the often talked about Honey Oud, um, there's Neroli uh, Voyage, which is a good summer scent, kind of buttery. Floris does these, you know, has a collection of scents that, that's really kind of buttery, crisp, fresh. Uh, I've reviewed Bergamot, Positano, they're all really good. This one, I thought, based on the note breakdown and the concept, initially seemed uninteresting. But the way I actually ended up buying this is um, it was Christmas Eve and uh, we were going to have brunch at Sarah Betts in New York right by um, next to the Plaza Hotel in, uh, by Central Park. And, you know, there was a, we didn't make a reservation um, or anything. There was a, about a 40 minute wait. So super cold. It was when there was this, the winter storm on the East Coast. Um, uh, this year, so uh, last this past year, so we went to Bergdorf, which is a place I never go to. You know, usually sometimes we will go to Bloomingdale's or Saks. They're like closer and just yeah, more mainstream. Bergdorf. So I'd never visited this physical store in New York, and then um, when I went, it was a little like like we happened to be in the men's section. There's lots of clothes that didn't really interest me, like boutique, super high end stuff. Not really into that thing. And then just by chance, we landed on a fragrance corner. It was like, it was actually beautiful too, the store. I wish I had a picture of it. Like it was in the middle of this circular area and they just had the brands all in a circle, all uh, really big niche houses. Uh, and I didn't realize they had such a good collection. Frederick Mall, of course, Amouage um, with all their full collection. Uh, Ex Nihilo, they actually had Floris um, and they had uh, Mise en Sur, you know, all these brands that really fragrance enthusiasts love. So anyway, um, I was trying different things that, I, that were on my mind and I said, you know, what about, a, I asked the store person, what about like a fresh scent? And he said, oh, you know, you, um, have you tried Sephiro, which is this one? And so I tried it and there's nothing like super surprising about it, but I was surprised actually, well, I was kind of really impressed by how much I liked it. And and I, I knew this was one of those floor scents that was actually really accessible on like fragrance net and really always available and always at a really discounted price. So about $50 for the 100 ml, which is less than half the retail price. So. I, I just bought it, right, and, and um, to wear it and test it more because I knew it would be a useful scent. This kind of fresh scent is really versatile. It's an eau de toilette. If you look at the note structure, um, it's a deceptively simple, um, you know, composition, but it's also a classic composition. And I think just based on the notes, you couldn't really tell what exactly this one is going to smell like or how it's going to be different. So you have citruses at the top lemon, lime, orange, and you, they list also cardamom and nutmeg um, as added notes and uh, you also have a floral heart uh, with jasmine and musky base, sandalwood. I'm not sure if there is cedar there. 
but I did pick up on that, you know, a hint of that smell uh, when I wore it. So there's something about this scent that was kind of, it made me think, wow, it's just so well balanced and well created. It's so likable. It's at times it feels like one of those very um, classy, fresh, uh, masculine colognes, but other times because of the floral component, it leans a little bit, you get, yeah, you get that little twist that makes it lean a little more feminine. And so overall it's a unisex scent, but I like that kind of play or shift between, you know, it being having a more masculine tone and also a more feminine tone. I think it keeps this, that's what keeps this kind of different, that balance um, done so well. And for a time, I kept trying to figure out what this reminded me of and I couldn't put my finger on it. I just like, there was something familiar about it um, that I couldn't identify. Eventually, the, the scent I thought of was uh, um, Clementine California from Atelier Cologne. And I actually have a sample of it and I did it, I'm wearing it side by side because I was so curious, does it actually smell like that? And there's a reason why I thought of that comparison. Side by side, it actually doesn't smell quite like that. There's, they smell very different, but there are key similarities. So Clementine California overall, um, it's a really, you know, uh, praised scent and, and you have to try it. It's a really nice, easy going scent, happy scent, but it's a lot sweeter. There's this vanillic undertone in it um, that you don't get here. This is a lot more crisper and a lot more tart and sharp and that's because the similarity I was getting was from this orange top note um, and orange gives off an interesting to me um, and unique citrus note that's different from just plain kind of bergamot and just um, like just a generic citrus note there's some unique characteristic that's a little bit sweeter and a little bit bitter at the same time and the other similarity I was getting was this had that similar, I almost, I want to say slightly green, um, but also don't want to give the wrong impression. Green in the sense that, you know, when you smell a mandarin orange, uh, there is that stem component. Um, so think of a really ripe, nice, juicy, sweet orange, not a sour one, and, and balanced by that slight vegetal bitterness um, that you get from the stem which I always noticed about Clementine California and liked and you get a little bit of that as well here you know and I'm not gonna go and try to identify like what 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 notes contributing to that smell but that's what I'm getting <clears throat> um, but there is a lot more predominant lemon note as well in this one that makes gives it the the more sharp lemony tart quality I would say most people will like it, but to some, it could give, have that little kind of cleaning product smell because so many cleaning products rely on lemon, I think, um, or the scent of lemon. So one thing just to, to be careful about, um, it is a lemon uh, top heavy kind of scent. Overall, I would say this is a pretty linear scent and a pretty light wearing scent, but you will still, you know, pick up on it. Um, and. I told you that whole story, um, you know, because I, I think it's always interesting how you discover scents because it tells you what, you know, you as an individual were looking for in a fragrance or what kind of scent you were gravitated towards at, at a particular time in life. And, and at this stage, you know, I've been experiencing a lot of, um, and, and probably a lot of you have gone through this too, but a lot of scent fatigue where, you know, if you smell too many kind of rich scents, especially concentrated, like 40%, you know, um, oils. It, it really, yeah, it's a little bit fatiguing, a little bit, you know, too much on the nose and not as pleasant as it used to be and just not as wearable. And so I was drawn to, I needed something fresh again. And that's why I um, went towards this fragrance. So this is gonna be perfect if you're in kind of that boat as well. Uh, now, I mentioned this, there is kind of this really uplifting, breezy, um, and floral part to this scent that gives it that slight, you know, feminine touch. Um, it's, it's, like I said, just a perfect unisex scent, but that slight kind of floral note and a slight herbal 
feel to the scent. Um, and I think, you know, it's not that there's a distinct herb in the fragrance, but I think it's that balance of a muskiness um, that's just a common, you know, component of a base. You know, the muskiness and the, the sandalwood in here that actually, I notice Flores utilizes a lot this, this, this um, sandalwood note that they have. It's, it's kind of crisp, it's light, it's, it's faint and yet noticeable. Uh, and it's not too, um, how should I say, it leans brighter than kind of weighing you down, right? Like some woody notes could, um, not so sweet. So, so it's a really nice, it gives it a little bit, just enough body to the fragrance um, that makes it a fragrance, right? And not just a watery splash of something. So, so yeah, that's why I really enjoy this. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, you might think like with the cardamom, with maybe sandalwood, is, does it have a creamy or powdery feel at all? I don't think at all this is like this. It's more of a crisp scent. So think of just a very crisp, citrusy scent um, that has some body to it. And that's what I like about this scent. That's actually, from what I've seen, not so easy to execute actually. Creating a citrus, aromatic, woody scent that, you know, is like but still seems to have more substance and interesting qualities. And I think, um, I, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but Sephiro, the name, uh, is actually in, an alternate word for Zephyr, which is which means a gentle breeze. And this is one of those so aptly named fragrances. It's, it makes you think of exactly that. And it's supposed to evoke, you know, sitting by the Mediterranean and, you know, it, it could be the Mediterranean, it could be any other kind of beach or tropical place. Um, but just a relaxing atmosphere, uh, kind of, yeah, like, kind of an, it has an old time charm and elegance to it, but this leisurely quality about it where you're sitting outside and you can feel the breeziness of this scent. Um, it's, it's like the breeze is capturing the, the fruit smells of, you know, the orange trees. Um, it's capturing the leaves. It's capturing, you know, those herbal woody qualities, the sharpness. Yeah, and then of course the natural um, flowers that you might smell in the air. So I think that they do that really well. And I don't want to overhype the scent. This is um, what it's designed to be, which is a simple, fresh, everyday, you know, um, scent when you're looking for something like that. You know, you don't always want to be, uh, you don't want to be smelled all the time, right? Especially if you're in a really tight space. Um, but sometimes you still, you still want to smell fresh and tasteful. And you know, you know, you, there will be times when people kind of lean over to talk to you, or yeah, and get closer, and that's when you want people to think, "Well, wow, this like smells really nice. Um, it's like so subtle. It's there, um, but man, this this person smells really nice." And that's I think the function that this kind of scent serves. So, really fantastic scent for the for those reasons. Um, check it out. I think if anything, you know, it's one of the better value florists out there. Um, you know, the, the other ones like come in and out of the, the market um, depending on the demand and um, this one, yeah, you should be able to get it. So I think if you like fresh scents, definitely check it out. If you like unisex scents, if you like citrus scents, definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I would recommend this scent, which is why I'm reviewing it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, found it useful. I'll see you in the next reviews. Bye.